So uh, what do we do? With, what do we do with uh, cloud? So really, um, I'm going to be speaking for six minutes about the use cases that we've been encountering at Innovance while talking with hundreds of customers over the past two years. So the the, the one thing that uh, is coming the most frequently is development and tests. How do I transform my enterprise from being uh, a traditional development uh, company or a company that does something that has developer in-house into a company that do application that scale well, that uses the cloud, that uh, uses uh, object storage instead of file systems, that uses all the good things that we are learning uh, from the open source communities on what are the best practices to get people working together. It's amazing that uh, communities such as Linux or OpenStack can federate thousands of developers and release a, a version every six months without any failure. So in order to do that, well, we are helping uh, customers transform their practices so that they can adopt uh, a model in which code review, continuous integration, and all the good things that we are learning uh, within uh, open source projects are re-implemented inside of these companies. And this is the major thing that we are encountering in all industries at the moment. Another thing that we are seeing are people that want to offer the same thing that Amazon does. Amazon is offering on-demand resources to anyone with delivery of system in a few seconds. How, uh, how is this uh, provided? Well, it's provided using an infrastructure as a service brick, OpenStack, but it needs to be integrated with quite a few other systems that will handle CRM, that will handle the customer portal, that will handle the services catalog, that will handle billing, that will under, uh, handle image catalog. Uh, you, you will need some business intelligence tool. And providing a, a full, complete solution is the main ask in these cases because you just can't leave with a technical solution. You need something that is well integrated within the environment of the enterprise that allows to provide the level of control, uh, the level of financial uh, dispatching that people are expecting. In fact, we are even seeing companies that are using the transformation to infrastructure as a service as a way to better understand the spending of the IT uh, component of the organization. Another uh, case that we are encountering quite a bit is people developing new types of application. Um, when you want to develop the next Facebook or the next application that will be used by millions of people, the problem of, uh, of scalability is a very important one. And when you are going to be deploying your application, uh, you can do that on a public cloud, but you may want to be able to either uh, have some part of it in your own infrastructure, or you want to be able to uh, deploy it across multiple clouds. And OpenSAC is a great uh, opportunity for that, since it's offering throughout the world tens and tomorrow hundreds of different public clouds on which you will be able to deploy using exactly the same uh, language. And web and mobile app developers are very, very keen to finding these types of solutions. One thing that uh, is important, is it's not just making the resources available, but it's also how are the resources able to auto-scale? How do I react uh, to a peak load? And within the OpenStack project, uh, the automation of this auto-scaling is something that is at the heart of two uh, sub-projects that uh, have been working together, heat and silometer, to deliver for silometer the alarming part and for heat the uh, auto-scaling part. Working together, we can react to upscale and downscale the, the environment on demand. If you want to know more about this, 
uh, I'll be speaking a lot more about this uh, tomorrow morning in the cloud track. And finally, the, the, the one last uh, element that we do quite a bit is uh, providing uh, OpenStack as uh, the, 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 the back end to support other applications such as big data application. And here we are seeing that using the Savannah uh, project is allowing us to provide big data analysis on demand. So I think I'm over with my six minutes. Thank you very much.